Okay, clase, muy buenos días. Today's lesson is on formal commands from 12.2 in Panorama. All right, this is the stuff we're going to be going over. Well, hopefully you'll go over it before Friday's lesson. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to take you through the, the process and how we um, conjugate a formal command in Spanish. We're talking about the usted and ustedes. Okay, the formal register. Usted singular, ustedes plural. Okay? All right. This is an important process uh, to master so that when you start conjugating subjunctive verbs in the next lesson, uh, you'll already have a head start on how to do that, and hopefully it won't be any trouble at all. Okay? All right, so let's start. Let's start with our first verb over here, alquilar, which means to rent. First step, you take alquilar, AR verb, and you conjugate it in the yo form. All right? So you're left with alquilo, I rent. Drop the O, you get alquil, and then you add an E or an EN, depending on if your subject is usted or ustedes. Okay? So it's alquile, rent, or alquilen, you, both of you, rent. Okay? Alquile, alquilen. All right? First thing to notice is that you're adding opposite endings to the AR verb. You're adding, in other words, opposite endings, meaning you're adding ER and IR endings rather than AR endings to the verb to get the command form. All right? Let's try another one. Mudarse, to move oneself, physically to move from one location to another. <coughs> Yo form, me mudo. Drop the O, me mude. Now add opposite endings. Mude or move, I'm sorry, muden or mude. And notice what happens here with my pronoun. It's attached to the positive command. So, mudese or mudense. Mudese usted, mudense ustedes. All right? So, we attach our uh, pronouns to affirmative commands, just like we did with the two form in the, back in the last chapter with two commands attached to the positive command. But when it's negative, we're going to say, uh, no, se mude, no, se mude. Don't move, don't move, okay? No, se mude, no, se mude. And to make this one negative, you just put a no in front of the command. No alquilen, no alquile. All right. All right, so I've taken you through two AR verbs so far. Let's try an IR verb, servir, all right? And this one here is a little tricky because this E is a stem-changing verb, so it's an E to an I, all right, which is nice because you'll see why we need to start with the yo form because if we don't, we're going to miss the stem change. So <coughs> we've got, we go from servir to sirvo, yo sirvo. Drop the O, you've got sirv. The stem change is perpetuated here into the command form. Usted add the A, usted sirva, add the A-N, ustedes sirvan, sirvan, all right? Sirva and sirva, all right? Now let's just say we want to add a um, pronoun to it, serve me. How would we say serve me? Sirva me. Sirva me usted. Ustedes, sirven me ustedes, attached to the positive. We make it negative, no me sirva, no me sirvan. Now let's add the direct object pronoun, sirva, serve it to me, sirva me lo, sirva me lo. Accent stays the same. Sirva melo, sirven melo. Serve it to me, serve it to me. Okay, so far so good. All right. Let's try two more. Jugar, to play, and sacar, to take out, like sacar la basura. All right. These are good because, again, they're stem changing verbs. This one is. This one's a little special spelling, not stem changing. This one here 
is a U to uh, U U to U, U, U to U E. So your form is Huego. Okay, Huego. Drop the O, you get Hueg. Again, it's important to touch start with the your form because that's where we're going to get our stem changes. That's going to prevent misspelling the word in the command form. Huego, Hueg. Okay, it's an AR verb. I'm going to add opposite endings. In other words, I'm going to add ER endings to Hueg. And so I'm going to get huege or huege, okay? This one here is good because Spanish wants to preserve the gu sound, so we add a U-E, we add a U here before our E and E-N. My ending's still here, E-E-N, I'm just putting a U here to make the gu sound. So huege, huege, the referee will say huege or huege ustedes, vamos, okay? Huege. Play, 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 vamos. All right, uno más. Sacar, yo form, saco. Drop the O, I get S-A-C, but Spanish wants to spell it with a Q, S-A-Q-U-E, or E-N. Saque la basura, saquen la basura. Saque la basura, usted, por favor. Saquen ustedes la basura, por favor. All right? That's how we get it. Real quick wrap up. Take your verb. Start with the yo form. Drop the o. Add opposite endings. Okay. To an ar verb, you add er ir endings. To an er ir verb, you add ar endings. All right. Let's do one more, real quick, to conclude, and then I'll give you a quick example, and that'll be it. All right. Let's try this. Real shorthanded way here. Let's try escribir. To write. Okay, step one, yo form. Escribo. Step two, I'm gonna drop the O in my head. I'm gonna left, I'm left with escribe. And I'm gonna add opposite ending. Step three, escriba. For usted, escriban. For Ustedes. Right. Escriba usted. Escriban ustedes. Okay? That's it. That's a regular, regular, <laughs> a regular IR verb. All right. I'll tell you, this is so weird, teaching in an empty classroom. You know? Que lastima. Bueno, que vamos a hacer? All right. We need to cover a few very common irregulars before we end this lesson. So I'm going to throw these up on the board real quick. They are the verb dar, our old friend dar to give, is star, uh -huh. ear, saber, and ser. Irregular, highly irregular in the command form. Dar is day and din. Day and din. Why am I putting an accent above the E here? Making it a verb. When I put the accent over it, it becomes a verb. I take the accent off, and I'm left with day, which means of, a preposition. So with the verb, I need my accent. Give, day, den, demelo. Give it to me. De, me, lo. Demelo. Den, me, lo. You all give it to me. Den me lo. All right. De den. Este. Estén. Vaya. Vayan. Sepa. Sepan. Sea. Sean. Okay? Sean. All right, well, that's a quick lesson on the command forms. These are important conjugations to master. And so once you do, you'll have a head start in our next lesson, which is the present subjunctive verbs, which are conjugated just like the formal commands. See you Friday. Ciao.